Hi everyone, welcome back to another story. So today children, we have a very special book in front of us. This book is called Bear. Let's take a look inside, shall we? A small whooshing sound, then a plop, a bounce and a kind of squeak. That was how the bear landed in my baby sister's playpen. Have you ever had a bear fall out of the sky right in front of you? At first I thought he was a teddy bear. He just lay there, crumpled on the quilt. Then he got up and took Sophie's drink and her biscuit. That's when I knew he was real. The, the bear climbed out of the playpen and looked at me. He rolled on his back, lifted his paws and growled. He seemed to want to play. I put him in Sophie's baby bouncer. He was very good at bouncing, but much better than Sophie. I sneaked the bear into the house under the quilt at bedtime. I hid him among my toys. Don't you say anything, Sophie, I said. I want to keep this bear. Sophie doesn't say much anyway. She isn't even two yet. In the morning, the sound of shouting woke me up. Sophie, that's naughty. It was mum. She was looking at the feathers. Sophie, that's very naughty. She was looking at the scribble. Then she looked at the potty. Sophie, she said, good girl. But I don't think it was Sophie. I'm sure it wasn't Sophie. It definitely wasn't Sophie. I took the bear to school in the, my rucksack. Everyone wanted to be my friend. Does he bite? They said. He doesn't bite me, I said. What's his name? They said. He doesn't have one. We kept him quiet all day, feeding him our lunches. He liked the peanut butter sandwiches. The best. After school, my friends came to the house. Where is he? They said. We played with the bear behind the garage. We made a tunnel, a bridge and a jump. When the car came back, the bear had gone. We looked and looked, but there was no bear anywhere. At bedtime, Sophie wouldn't go to sleep. She didn't want her elephant. She didn't want her rabbit. She threw them out of the cot. I gave her my second best pig. She threw it out. Sophie, that's naughty, said mum, but Sophie just howled. She wanted the bear. Crash bang, it was the middle of the night. Smash clang, the noise was coming from the kitchen. We crept downstairs and peeped through the door. It wasn't a burglar. Bear, said Sophie, naughty. So today, a serious man in a serious hat came to look at our bear. He wrote something in a big black book. Will you have to take him away, I said. We nearly always do, said the man. He pointed his pen at my bear, but he said, this bear is an exception. This bear, he went on, has fallen quite unexpectedly into his storybook, and it's not up to me to say what sh should happen next. So can we keep him, I said. Ask them, he said, and he pointed straight out of the picture at you. And you thought oh, for a moment. You looked at the man. You looked at the bear. You looked at Sophie. You looked at me. And then you said, Yes, you can. So we did. The end. So everyone, thank you for joining me for another story time. Please press the like button and subscribe for more stories and to my channel. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much.